Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It is Emmy. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through a dumbbell leg workout. This workout you can take with you to the gym or do it at home if you have proper equipment. All you need is dumbbells. In this video, I'm just going to be explaining the form for each move and how many reps and sets you should do. And I'll put a little graphic at the end of the video that has all the information so you can screenshot it and do the workout on your own time. With that said, let's get started. So for the first move, it is a goblet squat. So for a goblet squat, you hold a dumbbell like this and you put your feet about shoulder width apart and then you keep your elbows in. And what you wanna do is put your elbows in between your knees. So when you go down, see how my elbows are between my knees? That is what you wanna do. And you come back up. And so from the side, you wanna stay more upright, you might have a more forward lean, just depending on your flexibility and mobility. So when you go down, you want to stay more upright and your back straight and neck neutral, then come back up as so. So for this move, I would do four sets of 10 reps. So you go down, up 10 times, rest for about two minutes or so, however long you need to feel fully rested, and then continue again into another set. Then moving on to the next move, we have an RDL, Romanian deadlift. So you have two dumbbells in your hands, feet about shoulder width apart, pull your shoulders back and retract them down. And then you want to hinge at your hips to initiate the movement, as so. And you go until you feel a stretch in your hamstrings, and come back up. Sometimes people like to think they have to go all the way down, but that might actually hurt your lower back and it doesn't do anything for you. Like there's no advantage. You just go until you feel a stretch and then you come back up by squeezing your glutes. You don't worry about moving up and down with your upper body. So for this move, I would also do four rounds of 10 reps. So again, you just go down and you come back up, you think about pushing your butt back towards the wall. And when you come up, you just come up to a neutral position. You do not need to hyper extend your back in any way. And for the rest for this move and all of these moves, it should be at least a minute and 30 seconds just to have proper rest so you can actually work to your full ability throughout each set. So the next move is a Bulgarian split squat. So you need a box or a bench to elevate your back foot. If you don't have anything like that, you can just do a normal split squat. So you would just go down and up, but we are going to do Bulgarian split squats. So we're going to use the box. So for this move, it's easier to start on the ground. So that way you have proper like placement of your foot and everything. And for this move, your knees can go a little bit forward. It does not have to be straight up and down. So you start at the bottom, come up, and then you sit down and come back up. You wanna keep both your hips facing forward. Same with your shoulders. You don't wanna drag on the sides of the weight like that you're holding with the weight. You wanna stay up. And if you want to target your quads, you keep a more upright torso. But if you want to target your glutes, you lean forward just a little bit. So I would do 10 reps on each leg for three rounds. So what that would look like, you do 10, maybe take like a second to catch your breath, do another 10 and then take your full rest and then do it again two more times. So next we have a suitcase squat. So that essentially is holding weight on one side and just doing a squat and then you switch to the other side. So you go down and up, down, up. And when you do that eight times, you're then going to switch to the other side, do eight reps. And that would be one set and you do that for three sets. So three sets of eight reps on each side. And lastly, we have a dumbbell or kettlebell swing depending on what equipment you have. So this would be for three rounds of 15 reps. So I do about shoulder width apart, maybe just a little bit further. You wanna start by leaning down, 
you kind of get some momentum and you go. So that is what it looks like. You want to keep your arms bent, your chin tucked down, and you're kind of just hinging in the motion and pushing forward. You keep your arms like glued in. So that is the entire dumbbell workout. Let me know if you try it out and if you enjoyed it. This is a great workout for beginners if you just wanna work with some dumbbells or if you're at home and all you have are dumbbells. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.